Hi there, I'm Marty, VK4 Kilo Charlie, and I'm here to show you the latest version of the Mad Dog Coil. It's called the Mad Dog Lazy Dog. Hey, who doesn't like a lazy dog? And here it is, the Lazy Dog. So the reason that we're calling this one the Lazy Dog is it's got a motor, and the motor actually drives up the hose clamp, or it's a portion of the hose clamp. Come in a little closer. Let's take a look at this. So let's get in on that section there. And you can see here that um, this hose clamp that touches the coil, this used to go all the way around and I would move that up and down by hand. Mm -hmm. But now this hose clamp is connected to these two nuts, which are driven by this threaded rod up and down. And so the threaded rod is then connected to this brass coupling. The brass coupling is then connected to the motor the motor has, it comes with a uh, reduction drive. So with that reduction drive, it spins at 70 revolutions per minute, 70 RPM, which is a nice, easy speed to take the, um, uh, the part hose clamp here up and down against the coil. At the top here, uh, that um, shaft just goes into a aluminium, uh, section here. Uh, I should really put some grease in there so it doesn't wear. But um, all these other parts, these plastic parts that hold hold it in, I just got little bits and pieces out of um, out of my odds and ends um, basket. And uh, that there you can see is um, just a, uh, a cable tie with some rubber underneath between the motor and the cable tie, just holding it in place. What I do have here is, um, if you come around this side, I've got these uh, two switches, one at the top, one at the bottom. These are limit switches in case I go too far, just to make sure that, um, that uh, the uh, power cuts out to the motor before I do any damage uh, to, um, to the plastic bits, plastic components. So from the motor, um, I've got a controller box. This controller box, can go anywhere in the line between the power source and the coil. At the moment, I've just got um, these power pole connectors. This one goes to the motor, this one goes to the power source, but that could be taken out and moved right back into the shack. How do I know what position it's in? Well, that's probably the hardest bit because this, because this is not a, a, um, one of those servo motors that kind of gives you feedback on what, um, where exactly where it is. It's just a very simple motor. I utilize timing. Okay, so I've uh, lowered the coil to the 40 meter band, where it tunes up on 40 meters, which is uh, more towards the bottom of the coil. Uh, from this point, uh, I've, I've got some markings uh, over here along the coil, which I can visually see approximately how high the contact needs to be for to tune into the different bands. So this coil here is the Mad Dog Junior, basically the same length as the Mad Dog Junior, and it uh, can tune up from uh, on 40, 30, 20, 17, and the 15 meter bands with the current length of whip that I've got on top. So here's the controller. As I said, this can be anywhere in line with the power source. So it can be 30 meters or so, you know, at the other end. So um, if I'm inside the shack and this is out the front on the tripod, obviously I'm not gonna have any visual indication as to where the, uh, the position of the contact is against the coil. So I've just worked out some timing here. So to go from 40 to 30 meters is gonna take about 24 seconds. So I've got these two toggle switches, this one, is permanent up, permanent down, and this one is momentary, momentary up, momentary down for uh, short uh, um, tuning, fine tuning. So I know if I want to go up to the 30 meter band, it's going to take around about to the 24 second mark. If you come in really close here, you can see that the uh, motor is driving the shaft. Um, this is uh, moving up around about uh one one coil turn per second so it gives you a bit of an idea of the speed 
and uh, that's around about the 20, 22 second mark. So that's our 30 meter point. Uh, to get up to the 20, um, 20 meter band, it's another 14 seconds. So uh, move it on up. It works its way up. And after around about the 13, 14 second mark, I can, um, I can stop it. And then what I generally do if I'm inside is I just switch over to uh, CW setting, uh, give it a couple of taps to see where the SWR reading is, and uh, then just do the fine tuning to get that SWR down to the lowest point. So there you have it, the, um, the lazy dog by, uh, by the mad dog. So um, the, the la that's the most recent uh, coil in the inventory. With my coils, I don't sell them. I just make them for fun and share the knowledge uh, to other amateur radio operators. And um, hopefully you can uh, uh, get something out of this video. Thanks everyone. Catch you at the next video. It's BK4 Kilo Charlie, 73.